So we've changed the phone over recently and now have a new number. So I'm just going to get rid of this off the back and put the new number on there. This is the new number updated on the back of the phone. Thank you very much. Just created this macro. We've had a few people where we're sending things internationally where they're not aware they have to pay the uh, customs charges at the other side. So just created this macro that we're going to send in future just so that they're aware of it. All right, thank you very much. Currently, the FBA control board takes over the whole of mission control, but because we've been making a lot of improvements to get more stock into Amazon, we can start to reduce this. So I've managed to shift the entirety of the Amazon control board onto one sheet of metal, and the other side is now mission control. So we've got more space for more activities on that side, and we didn't need as much space here, so we condensed it. When I'm doing any graphics for the Jake's Farmyard stuff, I have one big issue, and that is getting these little characters to be elsewhere on the screen. So in the, at the moment, they're in the logo. But when I click into the logo, if you can see there, it moves individual parts of them. So that's just part of the chicken's eye. That's part of the chicken's wing. So what I need is to be able to move that character completely independently. So I had a look around the computer and I managed to find all of the different characters isolated into um, single vector graphics. So now I can move them around independently. So that will really help me and save a lot of time when I'm trying to add them to various parts of the graphics. So I've been trying to think of a new way of doing this for a long while. So this worked as it was better than using notepad paper, but as you can see, when you're moving things, you'd have to take these top ones off and then you have to move all these up. These ones have to get cleaned with a cloth. So you'd be doing that and you'd be snagging the edges and damaging it. So I've decided to come up with a much better way of doing it, and I hope it improves it. So here is the improvement. This is my brand new email schedule. So I designed this, and I had it made. Thanks to Marius for pad coming it all. So what we have here is little individual metal plates. So these can come off and be hooked back on as such. A little label there saying which of the next we send. So that one was sent today, so I'll show you in a second how we process it. Here we've got a rag, it's on a magnet, so I've had to just staple around the cloth for lack of a a sewing needle and thread. Over here we've got the pen labelled up and over here we've got some Saturday and Sunday markers for uh, showing which ones of these will go on the weekends. So we take the first one off because that's now been sent, so we just clean that off, put the magnet back on there, and then all these can shift across in one movement and we've got the fresh one there ready for next bit of scheduling. Given that we've currently got the heating on in the office, I don't think I'm going to need the fan for a while, so I'm going to remove it. A couple of new additions to the bathroom cleaning closet. We've got the physical barrier here for the um, air pure refills, and we've got one here for the dry pads that go on the Swiffer Mop flash, flash Mop, so I'm going to pull that one now. So, my improvement for today, I'm going to put one of these switch off machines at the end of the day on each one of the lasers and I've also replaced the label on the general waste bin and on the metal parts bin as well so keeping the workplace premium thank you she said the rails uh, powder coated red on the workshop side the entry into the powder coated side job done thank you the tools to change the bars on the laser beds didn't have a proper home, but now they do, right where they're needed on the workbench. Welding donated these small files to the lasers uh, for reworking, but they didn't have a proper home and they'd just been stuffed in with the punches. So I modified one of our tool attachments and now they have a proper home, not mixed up with other tools. I also asked Jake to make me a sign for the cordless charger for batteries behind the laser as well as some labels for the 690 crate just to avoid the possibility of 2.5 galve and 2 mil galve being mixed. So this is Damien's improvement in powder coating one so you see this metal strip here it stops the bolts from being able to fall off. Previously they could tumble right off and now they stopped from doing that. Little bit messy. Much 
Okay, so the signage down here says 086 wraps and ID181 wraps, which is not correct. Um, it's actually the sides for the four shelf drill boxes. So I've put the Kanban there and got rid of the labels that weren't needed. As the upstairs packaging area goes through a transformation, um, I'm removing the struggle to make this a lot easier by adding the cleaning bits that I did. We've got a few weeks worth of dust and grime that would have been completely ignored by really removing the struggle. We'll never see this much dust again upstairs. Thank you. Just a little free S in the van just to make sure everything is up to date, everything is checked, everything is clean and everything is working fine for the journeys. At the same time as I was emptying the bin, I noticed that one magnet wasn't holding it tight. Anywhere you placed it, it'd risk falling off and causing a problem. So to uh, fix what bugs me, just added a second magnet there, so it holds on nicely. Thank you. Well, before, when they read ID86 card wraps, it's like full. Um, there's like two more baskets here, like with big balls, and there's like no room to put them there, so I'm going to label the uh, location for them. Right now, please don't now label the ID86 card wraps. Yeah, location. Thank you. It's a great job, great job everyone. Thank you very much.